Welcome back, everyone. And today we're rolling some Balder, a Balder outfit, which kind of looks, I don't know, I don't like how it looks. And um, I did, I don't have the Balder side sword to use. Uh, I didn't pick it up. I didn't get the drop, unfortunately. Um, very popular weapon. So instead, we're using, I guess we should use an S stock. That would make more sense. We'll use an S stock today. Uh, I mean, I could use... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the S-Dock today. So the S-Dock is a pokey weapon. Um, I'll show you the best way to use it. I'm going to stay human and see if we get lucky with an invade. Uh, this sh this still parries, so you can parry. Uh, but yeah, you can stand behind it and poke. Kind of like he's doing. These guys... Uh, I used to have a lot of trouble with these guys. Um, the, uh... You know, what's the word? The, um... The... Halberd version to this guy. Um, all I can say is just, uh, just keep trying and you, you'll get the parry time down on them. It's not too bad, but it, it will take you a while to get used to it, so. And the sword guys, what can I say? Their parry timing's not too hard to get. Obviously, it's easier if you just kill them in one hit, but sometimes you won't. Uh, over here, we're gonna go get some of the, I don't know, probably the best armor overall in the game. Uh, go on through here through an invisible secret fucking back way down into its spooky little dark room of doom. And then over here we've got one chest that is not what it seems. That's because it is a mimic. See, so as you can see here, I can actually poke. If I'm holding my R1 button, Oh, I almost got grabbed because of my stupid decision to, um... Woo! That was close. Haha, <laughs> that was bad. So there, there's where you probably should just stop with the lock-on. Uh, he gives us an occult club, which is uh, just a modified version of the club. It does a, It does... What's it called? I don't remember. Um... It does... Yeah black circle damage. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's occult damage or something like that. Uh, basically, it works really good against like gods, so kind of a hint that you can use it later in this fight. And then, these four chests are a weapon that I'm actually not a fan of, and then a shield and armor set that I love more than I love anything in the game. This is Havel the Rock, the dude we killed earlier. We now have his full set of gear. Um, it actually, I'm gonna, I will put it on later, we'll deal with it, um, we'll roleplay as him, I'm sure. Uh, very, 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 very heavy armor, but if you're relegated to fat rolling... The hell? Not sure what that noise is. I don't know what that noise is. Don't recall ever hearing that before. Sounds sounds like a fucking spell, but... I don't know. We'll just keep going and see what happens. Now there is a cool shortcut I'll show you after we clear the area. Um, but I'll show you the proper way to go through here first. This is obviously another mimic because of course it is. So, deal with him as you would every other mimic in the game. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can, uh, behind it, you can see the difference. You actually stay behind the shield and poke. Get ourselves a gold coin. I think the other one on the other side gives us silver coins or something to that effect. Um, I didn't mention earlier, but the S stock is actually very important for speed runs. Um, there's a glitch you can do that I might show later if I can pull it off. It's a it takes a lot of practice to get down right, but it kind of fucks with the weapon system and basically allows you to have the S stock move set, uh, but with a very strong weapon. And the S stock, yeah, silver coins. The S stock when it does this, instead of do well, I mean right here. Does it have to do two hands? Might have to. 
I don't know. That uh, gives you a double attack, basically. So you can, um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. I explained myself poorly, but it's it's a very awesome thing. Uh, first thing you should do when you come up here is look at this cool room and go, what? What's the point of this room? We'll we'll deal with it later. Oh, let me go over here. What's in this room? Oh, hi, buddy. What are you doing in here? Oh, you're being stabbed to death. Oh, oh, hello, Demon Titanite. What do you what do you want? Or Titanite Demon? Hi there. We'll deal with him later too. Do not worry. Another soul of a hero. Good. Didn't go automatically in our thing. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the demon breathing? I have no idea. So, after you clear out those areas, you're going to head this way. I would advise you just getting down here, dealing with this guy now. Got another annoying sniper here. Oh, I'm a baddie. Come on. I'll take it. Out on this nice little uh, patio, I guess, of his. He likes to hang out and snipe people like an asshole. Uh, I think this is the one that is locked, if I recall. Yeah, that one doesn't open. This one, though, we can go through here. Into the bedroom of somebody. Whose bedroom is this? I'm not actually sure. Who's that lady? We'll find out later. What's that? I don't know. What's that? I don't know. Who's that? Who's that? Who are these people? I don't know. I only know who this one is. But we're going to fuck up their shit. Try sweeping attack. Yeah. So there's a guy around this behind this wall. I don't know. Uh, I guess this what? Yeah, you can hit him through the wall. And then you can just... uh. Take him out through the wall if you want. I think it's kind of dumb. I think it's easier to just open the door and deal with him. Because now you're kind of stuck doing this and trying to dodge his hits. Actually, this is a good point time to try this. So, with this weapon, theoretically, we can just do this. Oh, that didn't work at all. There we go. Yeah, so you can actually kill him through the wall. Honestly, I think it's just easier to open the door and deal with it so you don't have to, you know, fight an invisible enemy, basically. Uh, whatever you want to do, though. It's your call. Uh, I'm going to head up here, and we're going to go straight across and deal with this guy first. This guy, you want to go straight and deal with this one because that guy's going to, you can get around him. This guy's going to be shooting you if you fight the other guy. So come over here, deal with this knight first, and then uh, there's a path right here, we're going to ignore it for the time being, and come over here, deal with this knight, and then we will uh, we'll go down this side, I'll show you where it takes us, and then we will go back up and go down that middle section. Important to come this way, because look who we found! I don't know. What are we talking about, buddy? Ah, you here? Yes. Were you repelled by the silver knight? No, I kind of kicked their ass, honestly. But okay, so he's going to kind of give you a hint here. We're going to need two, ma three, maybe five bodies. So when you open this door, immediately you see two silver knights. But don't run in there because. There's one right here that you want to deal with first. If you go right in the door, you can deal with this one first. If you can get your parry down, very easily deal with him. And then what I would do, grab this one. Oh, fail your parry like a loser. Uh-oh. Okay. Fail both your parries like a loser, but get lucky because the game feels bad for you and gives you the partial parry. 
And then once you dealt with that one, you can come here and deal with this one. Like so. Come over here, get your free prize of... I don't even know what's in here. Titanite, I think. To more Demon Titanite. Open the door, and this is actually where we left. So this is that's where the hallway is. That's how we got out there. So we've opened this side up. And once you've done that, you want to go back and talk to him again. Yeah, man. Thank you. And he gives us a, ri a ring. Yep, come up with a plan next time. Okay. Uh, so he gives us the ring. That, this is the ring you can start the game with. The tiny being's ring. Um, or no, this is... A, I think this is a different one. No, I don't know. Whatever. I think the... I think it's the one you start the game with. You can choose to. I think the uh, intro item description is just incorrect. So... I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's, it's a decent ring. I mean, it's not great. It doesn't give you a ton of HP. Like, I'll show you how much it gives us. So, let's line our thing up right on something there. There. Our health is lined up there. Let's, uh, let's throw the ring on real quick. Let's go to the proper place to put the ring on. See, so it gives us, you know, a b about two bars worth of health. Not, not a big deal. Not enough to really ever matter, I don't think. Jeez, we are getting Estus like crazy right now. I like it. All right. So, once you've cleared that, you can come down here. This is the uh, center walkway that we saw earlier that we couldn't get to. Uh, just walk on down to the bottom here. This way is where that demon is. We'll deal with him in a second. Over this way, though, is where you want to go. Because you can go down here. And if you want to deal with it, you have to deal with this, really. But... You cannot parry that attack, just so you know. If you couldn't tell by my inability to parry it, even though I tried, you can't parry that. I would advise getting this guy up off of the stairs so you can fight him on a level playing field so you don't get weird parry stuff. Take him out. And then don't get any drops from him because he doesn't want to be a nice guy today. Before you fight this guy, just run around this way. He won't aggro to you and open this door up. And then come deal with this guy. Ah, oh, he held it too long. So yeah, if you can't get the parry timing down on these guys, just, uh, just backstab them. And then, uh, after you kill him, you get a cool up. All right, set of armor. I, it's cool, but I don't like the headpiece because the headpiece makes. I'll throw the headpiece on right now, just to show you what I mean. It makes your head look really fucking thin, doesn't it? Like that shouldn't be that thin. It'd be cool otherwise. That just bugs me about it. The rest of the armor, totally cool. I like it. And yeah, this is gonna open up all this, and now we have. Uh, Access back to our bonfire. If you so wish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it just because we have a lot of souls now. Also, I'll probably just pop the souls we found here. The two uh, heroes. I think that's 10k each, right? Yeah, so 20,000 souls. For not really doing any... Well, I mean, we killed an enemy, so no big deal. Go ahead and level ourselves up. Up, take our strength up to 30, which should give us access to a couple more items. And let's go deal with the uh, Titanite Demon, shall we? I'm going to throw on Gold Pine Resin for this just to show you how well it works. Still no invade, which is kind of sad. Also, I'll show you the shortcut right here. So, oh, I thought I clicked. Oops, there we go. My bad. Alright, so, instead of doing all of what you just saw me do, there's a really easy way to open this. So if you walk up these stairs here, you'll see right there, that's actually, the, that's the door that we went down to open the shortcut. Um, you can actually, if you get a running start here, 
you can do that and do a jump and just hop right over and open this in like literally you can walk in and open the shortcut and this whole area is unlocked and you don't actually have to do any of it but for now let's go fight ourselves a tight knight demon shall we the fight in this room's kind of a bitch it's a really small room he's a pretty tanky guy so you know ow Just, uh, you know, try and keep, try and dodge that shit, and, uh, just keep whacking away at him. Um, you can also cheese him with the door. Um, if you, uh, stand outside the door, you can kind of try and cheese him, but... With his range, it makes it real difficult, I think, to actually do it. I think your best bet to fight this guy is just come in and do it. Just man up and do it. Don't do what I just did and let your stamina fall off. Make sure you keep yourself healed. Um, what you can do is get out of here when your, S when your pine resin wears off. You can run away, get out here... If you need to get out here to heal or whatever, get out here, do it, and then you can go back in. Just be aware when you go back in, he might be in a different place than when you left him, so you need to be ready for, you know, wherever he's going to be to dodge or whatever. So, that didn't hit him. Come on. And yeah, I would advise the pine res. Pine res is not necessary by any means, but it makes it a little faster. This guy is a pretty, I mean, as you can see, he's a pretty strong dude. Um, if you don't have a high level weapon, maybe don't do this. Um, the lightning spear we picked up, probably pretty good for it. Um, never actually even thought to use that, but I mean, it has built in lightning, so it's probably fairly effective. And there we go. Take him out, get ourselves five grand and another demon tight knight two more actually so totally worth it that's so spooky oh there we go we got our invasion where is he going to invade at and i'm using a terrible weapon for this but it's okay uh yeah so our first invasions just happened Woo! where is he at i don't know um i would i'm going to try and just stay here and wait for him I'll try and fight him up here. Uh, tips for invasions. Hope they're not a cheater, basically. Find a safe place. There he is. Oh, fucking parried. That was a that was really good. So, you saw there the problem you'll have is um with the latency, sometimes it doesn't look like they should have parried you. Maybe they do. We just got wrecked there. So, that was just me being a baddie, but it's no problem. Uh we are we don't need to be human for this part anyway, but I'm going to cut it here. In the next episode, we'll do the rest of An Orlando and maybe the boss depending on how well we do. So we are now 0-1 with invasions. Although, to be fair, I'm also using a setup I don't actually like. So if I had a setup of weapons I liked, maybe we would have stood a chance. But we didn't, so it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.